data warehousing it is online analytical processing it is more like that i mean if olap is one of the concepts of of data warehousing it is one of the methodology of data warehousing so we are going to look into what is online analytical processing in detail the presentation the presentation area is based on multi dimensional database or, or online analytical processing technology then the data is stored in queues so the presentation layer which we are talking about it will be stored in a multi dimensional array kind of thing where you are going to uh, look at it as a cube we were discussing yesterday about the cube cubes and the cubes are good when you want it to do a slice and dice or drill down or drill across reports on them anyhow we are going to see that reports how they will look the flavor of it so most olap cubes are are sourced from a drill into relational database star schema using a variation of aggregation navigation so this is the exact terms uh, from business intelligence tool so they use the aggregate navigation yesterday we we talked about an example like first report it comes up at the territory level and or the provenance level and if you are not satisfied with the report at the provenance level you can drill down for getting that you need to have your data hierarchically when i say hierarchically like let us say your ceo is is looking at a team first thing is he will look at your manager or the vice president who will be representing a team of 100 people later after the uh, vp uh, spoke a little bit he wanted to go and talk to an employee what is his feeling who is a team member so it is a hierarchy he can talk to a lead and ultimately he can talk to a developer or or even a lowest uh, part of it as a trainee or anyone in that in the same way in, in olap cube whatever the hierarchy you define it is going to be stored in that way so that people can uh, easily drill through or the business user can easily drill through the report and and go to a lower level of data so final major component of data warehouse environment is data access tool so that is what we were talking about business objects is just a data access tool it can access data from your olap cube or it can access one of the popular tools of olap as uh, business objects olap it is amazing the reason being see it is not going to the, the difference between any other uh, tool uh, when you compare with a multi dimensional array that's where you'll have to understand see for example if someone ask you uh, you are in uh, vp and someone ask you Uh, can you do me a report region wise what is the sales for this month you have given them a report and the ceo will immediately question you okay everything looks fine but i want i want it in a better way can you also expand it a little bit more so the final major component of data warehouse environment is data access tool so business objects being one of the good data access tool it makes environment very friendly the reason is after you publish a report you need not go back into the database again and fetch the uh, data again if you wanted to drill through or drill down or drill across everything is available within the cube that is where the importance of the business intelligence uh, access layer comes into picture because if a ceo asks it in a different perspective in a different dimension you can't go back to database again while you are in meeting and then try to run your query everything must be readily available so the olap technology is very popular uh, pop popular among the crowd and uh, one of the important tools for that is business objects so by definition all data access tools query the data in the data warehouse presentation area so querying querying obviously is the whole point of using the data warehouse so why are you querying that is the actual purpose of building all this data warehouse if you try to recap we started the point of data warehouse to increase the uh, the uh, return on investments on our business so how we make a decision we have to make a decision looking at our data so a data access tool can be as simple uh, as an ad hoc uh, query tool or a complex as a sophisticated data mining or modeling application so this is where yesterday when uh, sayed asked about uh, data mining tools yes business objects is also popular among data mining tools data mining is something which gives the hidden relationships the hidden relationship which as a human we may or may not think about it so how many of us 
uh, count on our expense uh, like we count on the movie ticket but the indirect expense is the actual uh, snacks which you buy in um, uh, in in the interval of the movie that's an indirect expense but we all will think okay i have spent 50 rupees for my movie ticket but you would have spent 100 rupees for your for reaching the movie theater and also uh, for buying some samosa or popcorn in in interval so that is also a hidden expense so a data mining tool can get out that hidden expense and say your actual is uh, less than your hidden expense so take care of even the hidden expense that's how it is the data mining the majority of user base likely will access the data via pre built parameter driven analytical applications so it is not that they are going to build it all the dashboards which we looked at it they have certain metrics they have certain uh, uh, certain measures that will be built by the developer as per the requirement and they are going to access them provide their parameters a parameter is nothing but it prompts you for a date saying okay you you are asking for a sales report can you provide me the from and to date without that it is going to do an a lengthier query it can query last 5 years of data whatever is available in data warehouse so we always make sure that there is a filter class a where class in which you are going to parameterize date wise or you can say region wise maybe you are only a regional sales manager for uh, uh, texas or uh, new mexico you will also put that in your filter part so that you get only the relevant data so the most uh, the more sophisticated data access tools are likely modeling forecasting tools and publishing results in the form of a dashboard scorecard or a pie chart so the most sophisticated data access tools are 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 very prominent for that now the important part comes guys metadata so here is a point i'll have to mention about metadata why uh, why has business objects data services been very popular now as the reason is a major thing is metadata integration i can give you an uh, real time example for metadata integration it makes my life easier when i could not communicate in english when i don't find the right vocabulary if i am talking to my regional person i can talk in my regional language and communicate it easily it is the same about metadata layer business objects as a reporting tool can talk to data services as an etl tool but they do have the same language if you go back into the history the popular combination in data warehousing was an etl tool informatica with a combination of business objects but at that time there there requires a lot of development on the business intelligence that have that a person has to go write an universe and then design it fix it and do the reports there whereas after data services came into picture it becomes easier because it is the same language it can communicate with business objects really easy so the universe will get automatically built up you don't need to do anything but you need a little expertise if you want it to fix few things that is there and it can also provide you dashboards and reports of performance statistics everything by itself the reason is they have the same language in common and that language is the metadata let us see what is metadata metadata is all the information in data warehouse environment not the actual data itself so even if you talk about your home the items in your home is the data but you will have to uh, i mean let us mention it as a library that makes a better sense the items or the books in the library are the actual data whereas the index or the file or the key which you found at the front office is the actual metadata saying i have all these author books or i have alphabetically listed so and so uh, books are there in the library that is the metadata layer metadata is akin to an encyclopedia of the data warehouse so you can say uh, wikipedia what it talks about in the same way this is this can be said as an encyclopedia of the data warehouse so metadata comes in a variety of shapes and forms to support the desperate needs of data warehouse technical administrative and business user groups so that is required right always you have those layers when the metadata required by a database engineer is different from a business user your tool must be able to give them for a database engineers he will always look about the database tables uh, the metadata more at the database level whereas for an admin administrative person 
he will look the metadata in the way about uh, report uh, migration and report generation and for the business user he doesn't care about all this all he does is i want a crystal report so can i pull it from here i don't mind if i have to use a business um, business query or or universe as a layer so the, it has uh, surely uh, the difference so metadata surrounding the data warehouse dbm uh, dbms accounts for such items as system tables partitioning uh, settings indexes uh, view definitions and uh, uh, dbms level security privileges and grants so this is all about metadata so it will have each and every information about the tables the partitioning settings indexes and uh, and the security privileges on each of them and the ultimate goal is to corral catalog integrate and then leverage these disparate varieties of metadata much like the resources of a library much like the resources of a library that is the intent of the metadata layer there so we need to develop an overall metadata plan while prioritizing short term deliverables including the purchase or construction of a repository for keeping track of all the metadata so you need to have from the day one if you don't maintain your database metadata it is actually uh, what an architect does you don't need to worry about it architect take care of the metadata if you say there is a new table coming in to the model he is the one who has to analyze what is the impact when there is a new entry into the database he will analyze it is same as in your house if there is a new baby born it is the it is the the, the a responsibility of the homemaker to analyze what is required for him so it is the same way so metadata is data about data guys you are uh, be very clear about metadata because uh, there are many new applications coming around metadata layer so the master data management which i was talking about uh, thinking so it is uh, the mdx uh, as a mdm but MD, mdm is master data management every company is investing money uh, in researching and in, uh, and uh, and building a master data database management environment which will you may have couple of systems in your uh, company or more than one legacy database or application so the master data management will try to find out the the common uh, customer across the systems and make it as a conform dimension so let us talk a little bit about operational data store which is ods operational data store is a not a mandatory component of data warehouse ods is implemented to deliver operational reporting especially when neither the legacy nor more modern online transaction processing system provides adequate operational reports so this is the right example for for the bank account statement for bank account statement if you look at the online uh, transaction processing system it can give you only the last few uh, the last few transactions maybe a month statement or a six month statement not beyond that if you want a statement for one year let us say you are applying for a loan and they ask you can you pull out a statement for the last one year i wanted to see what are your credits and debits yes you can go to any bank and request for that but where are they going to get the report from our data warehouse will not be into the transactional level detail it will be only at a summary level detail so where the point is if you maintain an operational data store you can maintain some data in it at a very granular level when i say granularity we'll have to talk about it and in the next slide or or in the next presentation i'm going to talk about the grain declaring a grain is the most important part of building a warehouse so ods are frequently updated somewhat integrated copies of the operational data they they get the everyday updates so the report the reports address the organization more tactical decision making requirements so in here it is not only the drill down or drill across reports they can come with a, a different uh, analogy but data warehouse may not be able to answer that because the data is at a summary level that is where they will go to the uh, ods to get a proper answer for that business question 